first of all, a huge thank you for all the kind words of encouragement during our studio vlogs from the mountain. Both me and the girls greatly appreciate it. It's, it's mind-blowing all the kind things you say about our music and about the videos in general. So from the bottom of my heart and probably from the bottom of the twins' hearts as well, thank you so much. This weekend uh, was supposed to be the weekend where I filmed the season finale of Running Waters, season one. But as sometimes in life in general, things necessarily don't go as planned and uh, my life is no exception. So last week was extremely busy for me. There were so many things that happened all at once and a lot of good things, mind you. Uh, I can't talk about it all that much really because there, are, there is a lot of details that are yet to be cleared before I can talk about it. Let's just say that it was a giant leap for Odbjorn and for Rags and Feathers as well. We are going on television. That's one thing. Um, so I had to postpone that little trip up in the mountains because I can't commit to a, a full hike because there's there's just not enough hours in the day. But I really hope that I am still able to film the season finale of Running Waters b before the fall gets here, because the fall in Norway is really wet and very cold, at least where I live, so I can't camp all that much during the fall. So fingers crossed for, for a weekend of great weather so I can wrap up season one. Otherwise, we're just gonna move along with the schedule as planned. But there is time for one trip today. Short hike uh, uh, in Tusve, Axdal, uh, pretty close to where I live. And I located a really cool little stream. And I'm gonna take an image from this stream. And then I'm gonna go further in towards a mountain that's called Valhest, which is uh, 330 meter above the ocean, which coincidentally is the license plate number to Donald Duck. So there's that. So I'm gonna head inwards towards Valest in a minute. But first, I'm gonna take an image of this little stream which runs over a cliff and creates a beautiful little waterfall. So this is kind of a running water local edition, if you don't mind me saying. So just take a look here. Not bad. I'm gonna take an image from here. And then I'm gonna go down, gonna go down there and have one last image looking upwards. So two images from here. So let's set up. Standing up here at the top, looking down over the edge of the stream kind of gives, gives me a neat perspective. It, it looks kind of interesting. And I'm going really high on the shutter, approximately around 3000, because I want to freeze every drop of water as I do nowadays. And the sun is straight there and it hits the water droplets and it makes them sparkle, which I actually think is kind of cool. Also, there's absolutely no color in the scene. It's completely devoid of color. So this is a black and white image to be sure. And James R. Burns, a really, really good photographer. He has his own channel. You can check him up right there. He challenged me a couple of weeks back, and I completely forgot about it, that I was supposed to go out and take some black and white images. And uh, I'm not sure if this whole day is gonna be black and white, but this first image definitely is gonna be black and white. So this one's for you, James. Thanks for the challenge, and I hope you like the image. All right, let's do this.
after I climbed down here and looked up, I realized that it, the image I thought was going to work, it just doesn't work. So I'm skipping that image. Instead, I'm going to do one image where I'm sitting on that rock there. And that's going to be my thumbnail shot for this video. So I'm having a 10 second uh, shutter delay on and hopefully that gives me just enough time to get onto that rock without falling and breaking my neck. The sun is coming and yeah, let's do it. Many of you already know Eystein, uh, my cousin who has his own YouTube channel where he flies his drone. Uh, you can check out his channel right here. Uh, it wasn't all that long ago that me and him visited exactly this area and we just had an outing, just, just looking and seeing what we can find. And he f flew a bit and I took some images of, of a little stream that went uh, through the, the gr uh, thick thick grass and uh, we just had a had a great time so I'm gonna show some images from that little outing while I'm continuing up the trail towards Valhest so enjoy those images and uh, we'll speak soon all right Well, this is slightly embarrassing. One of these three tops is the mountain where I'm going to. And I think it's this one. But I have no idea. That's what you get when you don't check a map before you head out. Anywho, excuse me, sorry to interrupt. But this is uh, future Odion and I've been to Mount uh, Valhest. And I'm now on my way back and I'm precisely at the point where I'm filming in the past. And I have to say, past Odeon, you are way off. You can't even see the mountain where you're heading. That's not even one tenth of the way. Do more research next time. You're an idiot. And good luck. <laughs> Anywho, they usually mark these things, so I'm pretty sure there's a sign up there somewhere that will tell me either if it's that, that or that one. So I'm not too worried, <laughs> but, but uh, one in three chance, 33% that I climbed the right mountain. <laughs> By the way, there are some gorgeous looking clouds today, so really crossing my fingers for a decent view, which I'm sure there will be. All right, let's keep heading upwards or inwards that general direction, I reckon. <laughs> 